these cars. So come on, hit me before I lose my nerve. Oh, God. This is crazy. She'll go crazy. Let her rip. Hey, I don't know about this. I don't either, but who gives a shit? No one's watching. What do you care? Hey, everyone. So today I'll be talking about Jeff Cronenworth. You may know him from his work on films such as Fight Club, Gone Girl, The Social Network, and Girl with a Dragon Tattoo. Before going into the rest of the video, I'll give you a brief description of his work as a DOP. I would describe it as dark and moody with dirty colouring and tones, natural looking light, and smooth camera operation. Before going too far into his style though, I'll give you some background on him. Cronenworth was born on the 14th of January 1962 and was pretty much raised into the industry. His father is Jordan Cronenworth, who you might know for his work on the 1982 film Blade Runner. Because of this connection in the industry, Jeff was able to work as a second AC while still in high school. After completing high school, Jeff continued on to study cinematography at USC, which is the University of Southern California. Once he had completed his degree, he continued to work with his dad, but this time as a first AC. He was then hired for the film 7 as a B camera operator. When David Fincher was deciding on a cinematographer for Fight Club, Jeff was chosen and this was the beginning of his career as a feature film cinematographer. He called me uh, when he had Fight Club and said, come come over and I went over to his house and he's like, um, read this and tell me what you think and if you're interested in shooting it. I'm like, um, Holy I can't God. the answer before he finished the sentence. But of course I played it like you would and like, okay. And, you know, danced all the way to my car. You may not know what your style is yet. You may not have a style. Like, I hate it when people try to brand you and put you into a box because I think each opportunity creates its own opportunities to find something new. And even if it resembles something you've done before, it's still going to be something different. The phrases naturalism and realism come up a lot when you research his work, and I would have to agree with those as statements. He keeps scenes and sets looking realistic and intensifies them to create more of a cinematic feel. He frequently influenced the use of practical lights, for example, lamps, windows, ceiling lights, just anything that can be seen in the shot. And when he needs to add additional lights into a scene, he does so in a realistic way that makes sense, mimicking the light's direction and upping the intensity or colour warmth. He often uses soft top lighting and side lighting, and this can be seen in multiple scenes as demonstrated here. When we look at Cronenworth's work, we can see that the colours are fairly consistent throughout. He likes to shoot things fairly underexposed and uses a muddy colour palette and seems to stray away from true white. As you can see here, all four of these stills have a consistent look to them and that's what makes Cronenworth such a great DOP. His consistent style is what his brand is. As you can see, I've compiled stills that have a similar setup to them. Half of them are from Wolf of Wall Street and the others are Cronenworth's work. Here you can see that there's two bathroom scenes. Cronenworth definitely gives off a more muddy feel, whereas the one on top definitely feels a bit more true to life, especially colour-wise. Next up, we have a group shot. Now, both of these give off a completely different feeling. The colour palette that Jeff chose really complements the dirty style that they were going for with Fight Club. We can see in both this still and the bathroom still that we saw before that Jeff likes to put a lot of green tones into the shadows, and like I mentioned earlier, the whites never look quite white. The next comparison is of two conversation stills. Now, set-wise and set-up-wise, these are both very similar. They are both bar slash restaurant scenes with two characters that have a similar amount of scene depth and background separation. The differences are the colour tones and darkness. In Jeff's, it's almost hard to see the full faces of the characters, whereas in this still from Wolf of Wall Street, the character's face is quite well lit and easily identifiable. The social network scene is also almost monochromatic with the greens and yellow tones really shining through. Now, while they are strong, they aren't necessarily vibrant, and I would have to argue that that's a key component to Jeff's work. Although the colours Jeff uses are quite muted, they still come off as rich, and this is because Jeff puts a lot of work into creating a lot of depth on set with both lighting and camera operation. Now, while it isn't typical for Cronenworth to use saturated colours, there is one scene specifically in Gone Girl that I would like to touch on. In this scene, Resmond Pike is covered in blood. Now, while the red is rich and bold, it isn't necessarily vibrant. It stands out enough to make an impression, but not enough where it looks out of place and ruins the aesthetic. Without going too much into colour theory, he makes the red pop by surrounding it with its opposite colour, green. Okay, so let's watch a scene from the social network so that we can analyse the lighting. 0.03%. You signed the papers. 
You set me up. You're gonna blame me because you were the business head of the company and you made a bad business deal with your own company. This is gonna be like I'm not a part of Facebook. It won't be like you're not a part of Facebook. You're not a part of Facebook. My name's on the masthead. You might want to check again. It's because I froze the account? You think we were gonna let you parade around in your ridiculous suits pretending you were running this Sorry, company? Sorry! My Prada's at the cleaners! Along with my hoodie and my fuck you flip-flops, you pretentious douchebag! Security's here. You'll be leaving now? I'm not signing those papers. We will get the signature. Tell me this isn't about me getting into the Phoenix. You... You did it! I knew you did it! You planted that story about the chicken! I didn't plant the story about the chicken. What's he talking about? You had me accused of animal cruelty. Seriously, what the hell's the chicken? And I'll bet what you hated the most is that they identified me as a co-founder of Facebook. Which I am. You better lawyer up, asshole. Because I'm not coming back for 30%. I'm coming back for everything. It's okay, I'm going. Hang on. I just forgot. There's your $19,000. I wouldn't cash it, though. I drew it on the account you froze. I like sitting next to you, Sean. It makes me look so tough. So let's do a scene breakdown. Okay, so I've sped up that 22 second clip to be 14 seconds and let's count how many uses of practical lighting there are. This is honestly pretty typical for Cronenworth. Within that 22 second scene, we can see five uses of practical lighting. The windows, a wall light, a lamp, the computers, and industrial ceiling lights. So we have all of these practical lights mixed in with the use of soft head over lighting and side lighting. This mixed in with the yellow green muddy color palette really helps to show what Cronenworth style is. Now when we look at the social network it's important to note that the only color that doesn't look dirty is the Facebook blue and when we put the Facebook logo next to the scene still we can see that they match quite well. It is the only time where white looks clean and crisp, which makes sense when we think about what the movie is about, the creation of Facebook. Jeff usually sets aside one colour to stand out, as seen here. Time to go over my photo recreation. So the first one is this Gone Girl still, which I recreated with my friend Carly. I think that we did a pretty good job, but if I pick it apart, I would say that it needs more shadow and depth on the side of her face. Obviously the head and body position aren't perfect and there's probably a bit too much light on her face, but I think we did a fairly good job considering that we only had one light source and no lighting accessories. The room setup was pretty minimal. We had a large window, which we used for natural light, and we shut the blind halfway down just to cut out some of the excess light. We turned off the ceiling lights and I cracked in the corner while Carly was on the bed. I used a 50mm lens and shot it at 1 640th of a second at f2.8 with my ISO set to 800. Next one is of a cat on a bed from Gone Girl. I don't have a cat so I use my dog Rolly, he's pretty cute. Um, obviously mine is too warm. I tried to edit it cooler in Lightroom but it just didn't quite look natural due to the terracotta wall. The angle isn't quite right but I think that the lighting is actually pretty accurate. The lighting setup was similar to the one before with a large window. I turned my vertical blinds 45 degrees to put the light where I wanted it and set a lamp on a super low brightness with a cool tone on my desk. I don't really think it did too much though, to be honest. My settings were 1 800th of a second in case he moved to freeze the motion, f2.8 and ISO 500. With both photos, I didn't really have much space to work with, but I think they turned out pretty well considering. 